Well, here it is, it's not. I never know how to start these things. So, guess what? It is game day. My favorite day. Except today it's kind of a weird game day. Like, it's a weird competition day. Um, Cause it's, um, well, it's a national championship, but in a pandemic. So it's, I don't know, a lot of things are not gonna be like they usually are, but it's still gonna be a competition. I haven't competed since January, um, ever? No, January, I think. So that's gonna be fun. And we're just gonna try and, you know, make the best out of a bad situation and see what competition like this is gonna be like. So. Nationals was supposed to be in March, um, but obviously that was right when the whole pandemic started, so it was postponed until now. Um, and at that time, I was supposed to compete in 76, but I lost a little bit of weight recently, so I was I've been like just above 71. I've been at like 72 ish. Um, so we decided to lift in 71 for this competition. So I actually had to cut a little bit of weight. I mean, I say cut weight, but basically I just had to eat like a normal person for a few days instead of my normal, you know, three to four thousand calories a day um, diet. So, so yeah, it's actually been kind of nice. Like I've been feeling hungry, you know, I rarely get to feel hungry. So that's actually been sort of nice almost. I was at 71.2 when we left the house and we have about an hour drive. So. I mean, basically, I just have to like exist for an hour and then I should be right on point when we get there. So yeah, that's what's happening and I will see you back when we get there. Oh God. It's hot on. 70.9. Not on point, but it's okay though. I need to eat now. What? Mm. I swear this is so good. Mm. I've been looking forward to this for like several hours. Mm. I love it. It's like a dramatic food shot. Like, ooh. <laughs> Alright. I need to eat some like real food as well. Not that this isn't real food, but I need to eat real food as well. And drink a lot of water and then we'll see what time I get to lift. You ready? Yeah. I'm like, I'm low-key disappointed that I didn't weigh in like on point. Back in my boxing days, I would weigh in at like on point every single time. It was awful back then though. I would weigh in at 60 kilos. I just weighed in at 70.9. That's 11 kilos. 11 kilos, I'm not a very big, like I'm not a huge person now. It seems like a lot, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird to think about. This is the first weigh-in in my weightlifting life where I haven't eaten like at least twice before my weigh-in. So I feel like this is the first time I can kind of compare it to like back in the day when I had to cut weight like crazy and then now. So I don't know, that's just kind of crazy. Um, I have no more to tell, I'm just gonna eat now. I'm see you. I'm going to Thank you. 
Det er Welcome to Sunday, aka the day after nationals. So let's talk about my snatches first. I ended on 74 kilos, which is... I went 70, 74, and then I had an attempt at 79, and this is not numbers I'm happy with. I'm a little bit embarrassed, um, not in the sense of like, you know, worrying about what other people might say um, at all, it's more, you know, these numbers are so far away from what I had set out as my goal for this year um, before the pandemic hit. So it's just very disappointing. Um, I mean, going to competition and doing it, what, 85% snatch, like, that's just a little bit disappointing. Like, it just is. My first attempt gave me the silver medal. Then after that, it was just about kind of pushing a little bit for the goal, but so it was definitely the right tactic. I just didn't, I don't know, I just wasn't better. Like, that's just what it is. So that was my snatches. And for clean and jerk, we went 90, just like the snatch to get uh, that solo metal locked in. And then we went 95 and then 97. Um, that I just wasn't. I strong enough. I put up quite a good fight, but I just wasn't strong enough to get it yesterday. It was a very big win that I did fight for that last attempt though. Um, Cause I mean, after my snatches, I just didn't, I just didn't want to do clean and jerks. And this was the, I think this is the first time ever. It was, I mean, obviously I was disappointed. I was a little bit upset and like mad, but really I just felt over it and I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've ever felt like that but I got that turned around so that was a pretty big win um I turned that around and like once I did my attempts out on the platform it was <laughs> right back to normal so so that was pretty good so yeah overall I mean I'm happy to get medals and all but I'm just disappointed with the results and, and that's just what it is and I'm just disappointed because it's so far away from the goals I set earlier this year so so that's where that's at um <laughs> it was good to be back competing though um I I had hoped I could get more you know footage from like warming up and all like behind the scenes kind of but because of COVID precautions um we couldn't be, you know, we could only be athlete and coach in the warm-up room. Um, so I couldn't have anyone filming and, you know, when you're competing, I, I'm not going to be thinking about, oh, wait, let me film this lift and um, I'm just going to be thinking about competing. So for this video, it's only the competition lifts and I will try next time see if I can get more stuff like from the competition. So uh, yeah, that is my little update the day after the competition. Um, I'm going to do my stretches now just for a little bit and thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you watched this far. Um, and thank you if you did. I really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, 